Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about superior mesenteric artery Doppler ultrasound. These images show color and spectral Doppler analysis of the superior mesenteric artery during the fasting state and after eating, that is postprandial. During the fasting state, the superior mesenteric artery the SMA has a sharp systolic peak on spectral Doppler. These are the systolic peaks. These are very sharp, narrow peaks. These sharp peaks indicate a high resistance flow. This type of waveform will be seen during fasting. During diastole, there is variable flow. It consists of slow forward flow and sometimes it may also show flow reversal. It is highly variable. The peak systolic velocity of superior mesenteric artery is approximately between 110 and 180 centimeters per second. And the end diastolic velocity is usually less than 55 centimeters per second approximately, but this is variable. The resistive index is approximately between 0.5 and 0.7. In a postprandial superior mesenteric artery, a low resistance flow will be seen on spectral Doppler. The PSV and EDV will be higher as compared to the fasting state. In this image, the PSV is more than 240 centimeters per second and the EDV is approximately 60 centimeters per second. So after eating, the SMA has a lower resistance flow due to increased demand of blood and flow reversal will also be absent. Significant SMA stenosis can be detected on Doppler ultrasound. Stenosis is the narrowing of the lumen of the artery usually due to atherosclerosis. A greater than 70% stenosis will have a PSV of greater than or equal to 275 centimeters per second. In this image, the PSV was 280 centimeters per second. The velocities here are in meters per second. So at this point, when we convert it into centimeters per second, this was 280 centimeters per second, that is greater than 275 centimeters per second. So it is a stenosis greater than 70%. This is another image showing a greater than or equal to 70% SMA stenosis. Here the PSV was 305 centimeters per second. This waveform is broad which is usually due to turbulent flow. Here is another image of SMA stenosis. Here the PSV is 380 centimeters per second. It is very high. Also there is spectral broadening, which is due to turbulence at this point where the sample volume is placed. You can see mixing of colors mixing of red and blue colors, which indicate turbulence. Such stenosis causes mesenteric ischemia. SMA dissection is very rare. Dissection is the bleeding inside the lining of an artery. The inner lining of the artery is torn. On ultrasound, a dissection will show an intimal flap. This is the intimal flap, this thin linear echogenic structure within the anechoic lumen of the SMA. This is how a normal SMA looks like with an anechoic lumen. But over here we see a thin intimal flap within the artery. It will oscillate with the heartbeat within the vessel lumen and we will have a 
a true lumen of the vessel and this area is the false lumen. It is the area below the intimal flap. This is the false lumen and this is the true lumen, the main lumen of the artery. This is a direct sign of dissection. The combination of an intimal flap and a false lumen is a strong sign of arterial dissection. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.